Hello everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel where today we're going to go over the drug bismuth subsalicylate also known as Pepto-Bismol. This drug is classified as an anti-diarrheal and H. pylori agent. It is given to treat H. pylori infections, heartburn, upset stomach, and to treat diarrhea. It cannot be given to patients with fever, suspected GI bleeding, or hemophilia because this medication can mask the key findings of these conditions and prevent treatment. And we'll see why in just a second. Also, do not give this medication to children with chicken pox or influenza. This can cause Ray syndrome or hepatic and encephalopathy. This is why we don't give aspirin to children who are sick with viral illnesses. In pregnant women, this drug has a category of both C and D, and so it should be avoided. What we should know is that the bismuth of this drug acts as an antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory. This is supposed to be fire. This means that it will decrease the growth of bacteria in our GI system while decreasing inflammation. This is why the drug is so effective against H. pylori infections and it will treat diarrhea. The salicylate in this medication acts as an anti-secretory. This means that our colons will reabsorb more water, meaning less diarrhea. You should be aware that this medication may turn your patient's tongue and stool black. This can resemble a GI bleed and may be frightening to your patients. Also, what we need to know is that Bismuth will absorb x-rays and may interfere with imaging. This drug is metabolized by the liver and can have effects that last for four to eight hours. The side effects of this drug may include nausea, abdominal pain, and melana or black stools. Some commonly tested material about this medication is that it is given for H. pylori infections, it is given for heartburn, and it is given for diarrhea. It should generally be avoided in children as it may cause Ray syndrome. And it may cause your patients to have a black tongue or black stool. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today. And remember to like and subscribe for more content.